I greet this, my lovely people. You know the course rep for the social media, I am here again. The class captain of the social airwave, I am here again. The stories that are trending on the social media is what I have packaged and I'm bringing for you a night to share our thoughts as a citizen or spectators. The first story, as you are seeing on your screen, Nana Kufado accused political opponent of being behind the fabricated Ejapa document. If we're citizen of this country and you have not gotten access to this document, I will urge you to do that. I will find time and do the series of this Ejapa document and you'll be shocked. After watching and listening to the content of this document, the madness of belonging to NDC and MPP will move from your head. Where some few group of people think that the country belongs to them. The Achi Mafia thought the country belonged to them and they want to loot their resources. And they have drafted a book, drafted a footprint, and they are following it. And I think they are almost done with achieving everything. Go and look for it and read it and you stop this, your madness of NDC and MPP. John Muhammad did not build the rich hospital at the Kotokraba market. They are of most project you see this madness and these are illiterate talk john mahama is a vice president to the late most so why these two people come together to accomplish thing that you'll be taking one person out they done it together and the first thing the thing is that it is the ndc government that did it yes this is the ndc government that did it they did it did it uh -huh, you hear it clear. So why will you be pretending as if it is another government that did, it is them that do it? So so as far as they have done it, we need to let them know that it's the NDC that built it. Is it MPP that built it? No. Is it CPP? No. Who built it? Answer that to yourself. I want to see your comment. The next story said that the district road improvement program. Let us appreciate his excellency Nana Kofado for this one. And also, only by idea was I when in a young son, he didn't. One thing that is putting me off about this whole thing that they have done is that you see, when the time is due for you to do something, you do not do it, and later on, you are doing it. You have done it all right, but you have done it at the wrong time. Why am I saying this? One problem I'm having with our politicians is that when we elect them to power, the job they are supposed to do, they won't be doing it and be gallivanting. When it's time for election and they want power, then humbly they are coming, forcing themselves, doing shoddy work, pretending that they are working. That is what is happening. Why will you send this all these years, eight, seven years to eight years, you'll be there, you did not bring this machine. A few months to election now, you are bringing this machine. Well, let us appreciate them once again. But my question is that, are we not going to, at the end of the day, see these excavators and this equipment also flying like some flew some time ago? Are we not going to sit down at the end of the day, see these uh, uh, excavators at the Galamse site, the purpose in which they are being procured, they are not going to be used for that? These are questions that some Ghanaians are asking through me. And let's go to the next story. Commander Sugar Factory to be leased to Indian firm for 15 good years. This is madness of our leaders. Another great madness. 15 years. Does it mean that in Ghana we don't have competent people to manage this government? institution or government project or government infrastructure or government industry does it mean that we don't have people and look at the number of years we are giving this out it is alarming before this year elapsed the man that is even giving the contract out will be somewhere out of the country and out of the world that is getting him it's very sad the next story said that we are going to elect a new president in December 24, not a second-hand president. You see, Baumia sometimes when he's talking, I wonder, I don't want to comment on this issue very serious, and you know yourself that the man is not serious himself. Online high school to begin next year. This is education minister saying, first of all, our education system is collapsing. 
things are not going well and you are there telling us that the online high school is going to start next year what do you think about the whole story me i don't agree with this whole thing please drop your comment beautifully on the comment section and follow me on all the social media my name is afokoshi aka chris with all due respect this nonsense must stop and through it the nonsense will stop no amount of lies will defeat the truth i'm begging you follow me on all the social media and click the notification on youtube and stay glued to the place that anytime we draw story like this you'll be the first person to see i'm urging you if you have anything to add to my content that i'm creating you have an advice to give me i'm ready just drop it i'll be glad to take your advice i'm out Story. of your screen please comment like share and subscribe to our youtube channel shot 360 media gh you can also follow us on facebook instagram TikTok, and x